Good morning, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. The truth. I am feeling super extra. It is my day off and I just could not be in a better mood than right now. I don't know if it's the coffee or whatnot, or maybe it's just the four hour sleep that I'm trying to run off of right now, but I've been feeling kind of crafty. I've been watching some DIY videos and I'm about to do some bleach tie dyed shirts. My friend Maya K made, um, I only say Maya K made cause that's like her like Instagram account and all that stuff. But I mentioned her in my September favorites with the pouches and she does like bleach tie dyed shirts every now and then and I'm just like I want to do that so this is me trying to do that I'm going to show you a couple shirts that I have the first one I have I turned it into a um, off the shoulder shirt this is the one I sleep in all the time it's a common king shirt I love them to death guys they're like my favorite reggae band this shirt it kind of is like an oversized shirt um this is an awkward angle but this is kind of what it looks like i'm kind of nervous to see how it turns out there's been some videos where black doesn't turn into like a fiery red or a fiery orange like it could turn white or yellow like it, i don't know so i'm kind of anxious to see how this turns out the other one that i'm going to do is this washington levensworth um long sleeve shirt this is my favorite oversized long sleeve shirt I just got this from my road trip, but I don't know. I just think adding tie dye to this would be would make it like fun. You get what I'm saying? This is another shirt that I got from a road trip. It's another oversized shirt. It's a little bit stained, so I'm just like, might as well just do it. Yeah, this is the one I got when we went to Oregon on another road trip. I have my Saint Thomas long sleeve shirt. I think I might cut this off because low-key this is kind of tight around the neck and it's be choking me sometimes i just think this would be fun to just use this if everything turns out superb um, i'm going to tie-dye a couple sweaters that i think would also look cute tie-dye i don't know if i'm going to do it outside on the pavement i think i'm just going to lay down like a sheet on the floor of the bathroom and just go from there i already have a bunch of rubber bands because when the pandemic Thing happened um, we were making like DIY masks with uh, paper towels and rubber bands so we just have a crap ton of rubber bands and I don't need to get that I'll be back guys or maybe I'll just take you with me hey hey you guys so I actually changed my mind and I'm about to go to Kroger because if I'm in Target uh, and I say this all the time um, I'm gonna be in there for two hours because I have nothing to do today other than take my dogs to the park and pick up my boyfriend later on. So I'm gonna be like, oh, I have extra time. Like, why not just be here for a while? And I just feel like that's just setting myself up to like spend more money. So we are at Kroger and I'm about to get some of this stuff right now. I just parked and I'm about to go into the store. Maybe I could get something to eat for breakfast too. Nah, I got bagels. I think I'm good. So I just realized that somebody could have been looking at me freaking weird because I bought bleach and garbage bags. Well, other than the squirt bottle, but wouldn't that kind of be suspicious? So, um, there's this woman, a little story time. This is, I literally, Texas is like a fun place to be with, but, um, to be in, but literally like this woman was not paying attention to the walkway for people to like cross from the store to the parking lot. This woman was like reaching in her bag, but she kept going. And I'm like, are you going to stop? Like, what's going on? And, I, and she slowed down. So I'm like, oh, she's probably going to stop. But she kept going. And I'm like, this woman's about to run me over. Um, yeah, she was trying to get her bagel out of her bag or something. I don't know. And then she looked at me like I was dumb. Like, no, I'm just like, isn't, aren't you supposed to stop for me? But anyways, um, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to be home. Peace. Okay, so we are back at the house. I have my rubber bands right here. We're gonna try and do this. <laughs> so I don't really know how, oh, sorry, baby. I don't really know how to do this. I'm gonna start with the twirls. I'm gonna do two twirls. Baby, watch out. <laughs> watch out. Thank you, thank you, baby. Watch out. 
hopefully this turns out great. The last time I tie dyed stuff guys was when I was in third grade class. That was super fun. So I guess this is the one way we did it. I think we did. We did the pie thing, so that's what I'm going to do. I know you could sniff so much stuff. So here's one down. I'm gonna start the twist at the St. Thomas and just twirl. I don't even know if it's supposed to be tight tight, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. So this one, I am just going to scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. So this is just a big ball of mess. I'm gonna do the roll method for this. I've just seen people just do this and just kind of tie it in different sections. So maybe I could just have like four different sections maybe. Okay, so that's one. So this is what they look like guys. I kind of want to do some more. I grabbed two more shirts and this is a Sailor Moon shirt and it got stained from the washer. Like there's dark marks all around it. I'll just do the scrunching thing again. I low key hope this turns out. Rubber band across everything. So this is as good as I could get it to look. I have this American Eagle uh, tank top that I, that I don't really wear outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scrunch this up like so. All right, you guys, so this is all of my shirts that I'm going to be tie-dyeing. I feel like I got a good color scheme going. Um, you got like pastel colors and then you have like dark colors, so. You wanna say bye, Luna? You wanna say bye? Here's the bleach. Oh, I don't know why I smelt it. I just have a habit of smelling stuff, guys. And I'm just gonna fill it up to like right here, probably. I don't know. And then I have like bathroom cleaning gloves, so I'm just gonna use that. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna take you to the bathroom. Okay, so we're in the sink, and um, we're gonna start off with my Common King shirt first. Um, the shower is still wet for my boyfriend taking a shower this morning. So um, I'm just gonna do the sink for now. Now I'm ready to boogie. Oh my God, I am super scared. I guess you just kind of have to go for it. Ah! Okay, I am just gonna do this. Holy cow. And make sure you kind of get it. Oh, it's already turning. Oh shit. Oh man, it's already turning brown. Let's see how this turns out. Oh, it's leaking. Oh no, it's leaking. So you can tell that it's already changing and I think this would be a good time to let it out from the rubber bands if you wanna stop the process. I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit longer. Next is this one. So you just go every other pie, every other pie. You just kinda stick in the pie areas. Go every other one, I guess. I don't know. So, holy, I used so much bleach already. Okay, okay. I guess you just go ahead and do what you gotta do. This one, let's hope to see it turn a different color. I honestly forgot the places that I bleach, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do as much as I can in here. Same thing. Just try and make sure you get in there in the cracks so that it could turn. And this one's already turning. Holy shit! Oh, this got bleach on it. Okay, next, I'm just gonna, don't really go too much on this one. Kinda just dab it in here cause I don't really want it to get like that effect of being too dye-y. I don't even know if that's a good term for that. I am gonna wash this with cold water. And actually, I need to undo this first to see what it looks like. You guys to see it? Um, just a little bit in here though. I'm gonna just do a little bit more drip. Drip, drip, drip. drip. I don't know if that's gonna make a weird pattern. Maybe I should just do this and then do this. 
and see what happens. Ooh, okay. I like what I see. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out with cold water. And you just want to make sure you rinse it out good enough and you're going to do this for the whole thing. clothes are in the washer right now and I changed my shirt because um my shirt ended up getting tie-dyed so I was just like screw it like might as well they're while they're in the washer like I'm just gonna go ahead and make my breakfast and everything like that just chill maybe play some apex and then I'll show you guys the after ayo blueberry I forgot about these and they're kind of hard right now <laughs> I I don't know if I'm high off of bleach, guys, but I literally smell bleach everywhere I go. Oh my goodness. Watching a little bit of haiku. I'm trying to give this anime show a chance because right now it's a wee bit dramatic. Welcome to the laundry room. So I just switched these to the dryer and I'm super excited to show you. There it goes. Let's turn this up to like 60 minutes and let's do this. Here's the first one, Common Kings. Look at the back, super cute. I love it so, so much. Next one. Here's the one that I rolled. It's more concentrated up here and then it dies down. Kind of reminds me of clouds, but it all looks good. This is the St. Tomas one. When we went to Puerto Rico uh, five years ago, this is the one that I bought. And you can't really see St. Tomas, but you do get that spinny effect. I did put a little bit too much in the middle, but that's okay. Um, that's kind of what I wanted. So this is a little, 360 view. Here's my Sailor Moon shirt. I think it turned out super adorable. Definitely thought I'd get a little bit more at the bottom, but I do like the little splotches here and there. Here is the tank top that I'm wearing. All right guys, so this is the tank top that I did. This is what it looks like. And then this is the shirt that got bleached while I was bleaching the other shirts. I think it turned out super cool. Um, it's a little blank right here. I think everything turned out really well. Um, the green shirt that I did absolutely did nothing. I think you have to make sure that it's all cotton before you do everything else. But um, anyways, I think that's it for today's video. I had so much fun doing this. I felt like a little kid again. I've never done this bleach tie-dye thing, but I'm super happy I did. I low-key wish that this was in the front, but I don't know. It's kind of like a hit and miss. And the thing about the bleach tie-dye is like you can't go back. So if you guys commit, you gotta commit all the way. All right, you guys, I think that wraps up my whole video. Um, if you like today's vlog slash DIY video, um, go ahead and click the like button. If you wanna subscribe to my channel, then please do so and help your girl out. If you want to be reminded about the videos I upload every single week, then go ahead and click the bell button so you can watch the videos. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.